Hey guys, Max here. Mouse DPI is really important. Um, so first of all, DPI stands for dots per inch. In the context of mice, it means how many dots or pixels your cursor will move on screen in relation to your uh, mouse on your mouse pad. So for instance, if you move a 400 DPI mouse one inch, your cursor on screen will move 400 pixels. There are a few ways to find out what DPI your mouse is. The first and easiest way is to see what the manufacturer says. In my case, they say my mouse is, uh, at the setting I have it currently, is 1,150 DPI. Um, but the advertised DPI is often uh, an approximation and isn't accurate. The most I've seen a mouse vary from the advertised DPI was 100 DPI. The least has been about 4 DPI. The second way to find out what DPI your mouse is to measure it, if you care about consistently, this is by far the best way and really the only way because you'll be measuring how your mouse performs for you and for your setup. The biggest factor for a different mouse DPI, well first of all is a different mouse, and second is the surface the mouse is on. It's really important to measure your mouse's DPI after switching mice or changing mouse pads, so you can then adjust your in-game sensitivity to match your DPI. There are two ways I would recommend for measuring your mouse's DPI. The first is the simplest, and all you need is a program like Microsoft Paint. Anything that shows your mouse's coordinates works really well. In the lower left hand corner it shows the coordinates. The second is a dedicated program like Micro's Mouse Tester. Micro's Mouse Tester is by far better than Microsoft Paint and gives a bunch of other useful tools for measuring mouse performance. I'll put a link to the overclock.net page for this program. For both methods you will need a ruler Preferably one with inches and centimeters, but it's not necessary. For the Microsoft Paint method, you'll first need to make sure that the scale is at 100%. So as you can see here, it says I'm the the um, it says I'm at 1,900 pixels. It's not true to the pixels on your screen. So see, I'm at 1,900 again. So make sure the scale down here in the lower right-hand corner is at 100% or the zoom and then what you want to do is you want to move your mouse over um, it doesn't matter where it's easiest if you put it on zero then you want to line up your uh, ruler with the mouse so that it's lined up with zero I prefer to take the left hand side and have that line up I'll show you that here and then what you want to do is you want to move your mouse one inch. I was a bit off on that, but we got 1,234 horizontally. And if you wanted to get better results, you could do this several times and then take the average. So I'll take 123. I mean 1234 if I can find my cursor and we're gonna write that down here in uh, WordPad but that's a pretty big variance from the um, the advertised DPI so the second way is micros mouse tester and I'll show you how to measure that it's fairly easy and because you're measuring a larger distance it's generally more accurate so for this you're gonna want to use the centimeter side and I prefer to use it um, right on the edge of the mouse pad. So have the zero on the ruler line up with the edge of your mouse pad. So what you want to do is you want to type or click measure, and it'll show you the instructions here. So you don't actually have to look at what I say um, now, but you might want to pay attention. So line it up with the zero again on the ruler the edge of your mouse pad and you're going to want to press down on the left click and move it 10 centimeters I started a little bit late but we got 1142 and once again if um, it's it really is best to do it several times and then take an average of them but I'm just trying to rush through this so you guys get the idea. Um, so we're going to write down this number in um, 
and notepad. So we know that the, these are the numbers that we got, and there is a pretty big variance, and this is because I was rushing. Um, so both of these numbers, those are your DPI, according to the way that you tested it. With your true DPI, you now need to calculate your new in-game sensitivity to get rid of your, um, to, I mean, to get your old sensitivity, the one that you're used to. There's a great website for this, and I'll put a link to it in the description. It's called um, uh, notalent.org, and there will be a, um, a link to this in the description. So the, the basic idea behind the calculation is in-game sensitivity is a multiplier of your DPI. So for instance, 400 DPI and two in-game sensitivity is the same um, centimeters per 360 as 800 DPI and one in-game sensitivity. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your old um, sensitivity, um, your old DPI and your old in-game sensitivity and multiply them together. So for this, um, how about we do I want to do something a bit odd to kind of go uh, to give you guys a really good example. So I'll do 753 times uh, 1.3. So this is our old um, DPI, and uh, so we get 978.9, and then we're going to take one of our um, I'm going to take the one from Micro Mouse Tester because that one's actually more accurate. Um, and then divided by 1142. So this is now uh, what we need to do. And I'll show you. Well, I can't show you. Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, so we go here. So what you want to pay attention to is the degrees per inch or um, any of these lower uh, things right here. So our original was 753 by 1.3. So our uh, inches per or centimeters per 360 was 41.4. And now with our new sensitivity, which is 1142 DPI, and I'll round up that second number over here to six. It's 0 0.86. And there we go. Roughly the same um, centimeters per inches. So that's what you wanna do so you keep all of your muscle memory from your previous mouse and or previous mouse pad over to your, to your new one. Um, so, Thanks for watching this and I hope you learned something.